Hi, um, this is um, Ali from PsychicAli.net. I'm going to be doing the um, weekly prediction for the Taurus characters. Um, this is um, week Monday the 27th of April 2020 through to Sunday the 3rd of May 2020. Okay, so I'm going to have a little look and see what's going to be happening with you. I like to do three predictions for the week, beginning, middle and end. Okay, so let's have a look. So Taurus people. Okay, so the beginning of the week for Taurus people starts with um, there's an energy of being a little bit bored and restless. I know you think this is just what everybody's feeling, um, but it's mixed with contentment, which is a bit strange, I know. Um, so it's like, well, I'm content and I'm happy, but I'm also bored. I need something to focus on. I feel as if I want to break free from my confines. Um, so it is um, kind of a, it's like a, um, you know what it's, it's like a positive and a negative altogether. That's kind of how I feel. So with you, so it does say that you need to break free from your um, restrictions. Now, if that means that you need to, you know, go jogging, you've never been jogging in your life, but just to get yourself out, um, there's going to be something like that going on. Okay. Because I do feel, you know, Taurians, they like to get out in nature. They're very earthly, you know, they're an earth sign. Um, so they just want to kind of just connect. Does that make sense with earthly energies? I can see kind of, you know, maybe gardening or doing something, you know, getting a window box or, you know, in your home, creating a little kind of corner, which is, you know, full of plants and, you know, seedlings and things. Um, I'm definitely seeing that. Um, I don't know if you like sunflowers, but I'm seeing sunflowers. So maybe that, maybe that, maybe you're going to grow a couple of sunflowers, maybe. Um, but I do feel that there's a contentment with you, but you just need to fill that time, really. Otherwise, you're going to um, get agitated. OK. This is finances. So to do with your finances, the beginning of the week, you're going to start off the beginning of the week with a bit of a um, it's a bit like everything going kapow. Do you see what I mean? That's how I would describe it. It's like a blast of change, a blast of of um like an eruption of some sort okay and i hate to say that in finances because nobody wants to hear that in finances i'm not saying it's bad it's just there's a massive change okay um things are not staying the same anymore there's links around um an anger or frustration as well so it's either you're angry or frustrated or the situation that you're seeing unfold makes you angry or frustrated I kind of want to put some other cards. I'm going to put another deck on top. Um, these ones I use as my um, in psychic development when I run my classes um, because you can literally just look, do you see what I mean, at um, the card. And I've taken off the word at the bottom. Um, they're really kind of nice um, and you can really get a lot of clairvoyance from them. So I'm going to put a couple of those on. Um, just to see if we can see past that kind of financial thing. The beginning of the week. OK, right. So this is all provoked from thoughts from you. OK, so if you have been kind of moaning, <laughs> we all do. But if you if we've been moaning about the fact that you're fed up of this and you want change with that and that's not working out, then the universe is bringing you what you've decided you wanted, okay? So be careful what you're wishing for, okay? Especially if you're not at the this week yet. Does that make sense? Um, so it usually kind of works in three. So three days before this, what was you thinking? You know, was, we literally create our own future with our thoughts. That's what we do. So if you're um, feeling depressed and everything then three weeks three days later there's going to be something that will kind of you know happen that um you know it will be oh god you know that's frustrating do you sort of mean it doesn't have to be big but it's going to be like that but yeah it's like you've provoked some changes does that make sense in your life um that's not such a bad thing but it just means that you've got to you're going to be given a choice basically of what you do with that okay eruption 
So this is emotions. So this is yourself. Yourself, I've got the success card, you see. So this is why I don't think it's that bad. Because if it was, you wouldn't be feeling this, okay? And because success is the happiness, brightness, it's like, um, I've done it, yes. Okay, it means that you have connected with something that you really want. Um, it means that I've got to the top of what I wanted to do. Um, I have achieved it. Once we get to the top, we then have to decide what we're then going to do um, about um, the rest of it. Okay. Linked with your significant other. So that's partner, um, family member or friend. Okay. Um, this person is trying to forgive themselves. It's trying to um, make amends to themselves, trying to be brave. Does that make sense? Um, and um, it's like give themselves a hug, give themselves a break. If I show you the card, it might make more sense. That's probably backwards for you, isn't it? But that says forgiveness and healing. Forgiveness and healing. So um, sometimes we have to say to ourselves that the situation that we are in at this moment in time is not your fault, you know, if you're feeling that there's, there's something happened. So it's like it's no good wallowing and thinking about the past there's a need to kind of embrace and say do you know what the only power that I have is in the now I can only change things from now I can't go back and change anything so there's no point in going back over things okay learn move on and change things if you don't like what you're doing if you don't like who you're with if you don't like your circumstances then the power is there for you to change it OK, and I feel that that is the advice that you may be giving giving this person, because remember, Taurians are very practical people. Usually, OK, there's a, there's a practical energy, OK, around Taurians and they tend to keep going and keep going and keep going until they get what they want. And they're not they don't want to risk. Um, they don't want to risk kind of straining a muscle. Does that make sense doing it? They want to have a really good life. Um, in the process of moving forward okay that's your your kind of typical Taurians. I didn't say the typical did I yeah Taurians. they are plodders they are steady hard-working people they like to um, they like to stay on the back burner does that make sense and they kind of um, they'll complete things in their own time they don't really want other people trying to tell them what to do does that make sense and they don't want other people you know, looking over the shoulder and saying, have you done that yet? Have you done that? OK, but they're not they don't really want to be self um, self employed either. Usually um, they kind of want to, you know, have something that's easy. Does that make sense? They can go home and then go down the pub at the weekends. That's kind of a typical Taurian. OK, so the middle of. Yeah, so this is the middle of this week, Monday, the 27th, April to Sunday the 3rd of May um, okay so there's somebody new coming into your life at this time this person is going to be very very significant to you and I feel this is this may be linked around traveling does that make sense moving traveling um, I feel that you're going to have to steer it's like steering your kind of um, your vehicle into the right direction this is the way I want to go. This is this is how I want to get there. And um, I don't want to be um, tempted to go any other direction. OK, I want to. Con it's like wanting to complete things, not wanting to be waylaid. But I do see that there's a character coming along who may be a little bit tempting. You know, you may be tempted to kind of, you know, I don't know, go down the pub. Does that make sense? Not that we can. Do you know what I mean? Or have a drink indoors. Um, rather than get on with what you're supposed to get on with, what you promised to. So there's a little bit of kind of temptation coming your way regarding this new person. I can see that you're going to be spending money, um, quite a bit of money. Um, this feels as if it's like, well, why not? It's my money. I've worked hard for it. So there's going to be a, a very, um, it's like a the naughty you, the teenager naughty you is definitely out. OK, and that's the middle of uh, this week. Um, Taurians and to do with your finances finances you're kind of keeping things secret you're not don't really want to tell other people 
honestly itchy nose what does that mean um that means something doesn't it i know palms mean something but anyway um yeah so i felt as if there's secrecy here okay keeping things secret not telling anybody maybe that you've had a spend up you don't want to be nagged about it so you're, you're kind of trying to keep it keep it quiet the judgment is all about breaking free of things, breaking free of complications, breaking free of other people's stuff, you know, um, stresses, that sort of thing. Um, emotionally, emotionally, there is, you know, we've got the same thing. Someone's trying to tempt you out your cage. Look, you can see that. Okay, there. Okay. So it's like the cage door is open. All right. Um, and you're saying it wasn't my fault. They just tempted me. I can't help it. Okay, now the other significant other person is having to learn trust. Tr there's trust issues. That is one of the things that are going to come up this, this at the middle of this week. Um, it's all about trust and understanding. Okay, so then we got the end of this week. The end of this week, there's going to be discussions and talks about rerouting or moving. Um, this is either yourself, somebody close to you. It could be that you're talking about a plan, you know, that not this not this year, but the end of next year we will. Does that make sense? But it's definitely going to be to do with good harvest, good energy, good, good financial stability. OK, you've got some very good financial cards here, which means that you're in a very good position to make some changes if you want to. OK, it's all here. Does that make sense? This this kind of change energy, um, you know, um, they're, they're really good cards. I mean, we've got the Empress, which is can be to do with, you know, fertile. Does that mean things being fertile are ready to go? It can mean pregnancy, but it because it's next to pentacles, it can mean you know, financial. Um, so this is my building card, um, moving, building or changes. OK, um, and this is like a Virgo character who says, I'm going to plan ahead. Um, I know what I'm going to do. I know, you know, this is this is the plan. This is the plan at the moment. But later on, it's going to be this. So that's why I'm seeing there's going to be discussions about the plans. You've got the chariot again, which does indicate that you're racing ahead, going forward, and you're deciding which way you're going to go. Um, try not to be tempted. Does that make sense to not stay on the road that you've decided you want to be on? Um, it's like, oh, that one's shiny over there. I'm going to go over there. Um, there is an ending and a beginning linking to finances where things will be starting to shift and change. OK, I don't see that being bad. I just see that as being different. OK different okay so you're listening to your higher self don't be surprised if your psychic ability doesn't become a lot clearer and a lot better um because i'm seeing this excitement about going forward um it's like this is the direction i'm going to go in um linking with my emotions as well so you've got it in your financial sector you've also got it in your emotions um it's like flying high um being your own person um listening to spirit if you like um listening to to a voice inside your head that says you know we're free let's go and have some fun um there is a character around you at this time who is very stuck in their ways now they're difficult to please okay you always feel as if you know you're having to work really hard to make them um laugh or to make them see that life isn't so black and white you see what I mean it's like um and I feel that sometimes you feel very incompatible with this person and there's other times that you think you know either you end up becoming a bit like them or vice versa they kind of but I feel that most of the time it's a it's it can be quite tricky does that make sense to to get laughter from them um but you know it doesn't stop you trying okay um, they, they might be just a serious person. <laughs> so anyway, that's for you. If you want a reading with myself, pop over to psychicalley.net. Okay, thanks. Bye.